Hartford are hunting for back-to-back -back wins in the National League South after their last gasp victory at Avely on Saturday afternoon. The team from that game is unchanged. It's Mitchell Beeney in goal with Jordan Winter, Tommy Block, Tyrrell Miller-Rodney, Barris Altintop, Luke Colson, the captain, Paul Rooney, Lewis Manor, James Golding, Josh Nemhard and Harvey Brabrin. There are a couple of changes on the bench for the darts as Luke Allen and Maxwell Statham are back in the match day squad. They're alongside Tom Ray, Ollie Box and Musa Diara on the bench. And for Dover, it is Billy Terrell in goal with Peter Ogemen, Michael Olorowaju, James Dunn, Josh Anifawase, George Nikaj, Charlie Naylor, Luke Baptiste, Dante Stewart, Fouad Sesse and John Oyenuga. On the bench is Zidane Sutherland, George Wilkinson, Nick Dembele, Ife Allen and Archie Hatcher completing the squad for Dover for today's Kent Derby clash. Down the line from Tommy Block. Flicked in field, almost comes from Miller Rodney. Dunn's able to clear his lines, only as far as Jordan Winter. Gets it back from Paul Rooney. Now James Golding clips it forward into Lewis Manor. Brings it down in his left boot. He's got Rooney to his left. Here is Paul Rooney into the penalty area. Goes for goal. Block on it. Colson at the back post. And he fires it straight down the throat of Billy Terrell. Throw in taken. Comes back to Cisse. Plays it infield. Baptiste takes it off his toe. Orowaji coming forward. Goes for goal from range. And he fires it high and over the crossbar. Would have taken something pretty special for the big man from the back to find the back of the net there for Dover. A lot of height in that area for Darfur, Golding, Rooney, Bradbury all in that. Block, Manor two, and it comes from Colson. It's towards Tommy Block, taken off his head by the man in front of him. Miller Rodney heads it back across to Luke Colson, gets it to feet, he's got a Dover man right on him. Looks to knock it onto his right and cross, he'll get another go at a corner now. Stuck to his task well, Oyunungu, but can only put it behind for a third consecutive Darfur corner. In from Colson again. This time it's a better delivery. Neymar Tedder and poke goalwards off the line and ports home. James Golding's first goal for Darford. The low knee from Oxford stabs home. And Darford take the lead after 26 minutes here at Prince's Park in the Kent Derby. Over on the left hand side of the penalty area, Colson. He's an angle for a ball in if he wants to, but I have a feeling he might be fancying a shot here, Luke Coulson. Takes a deep breath. It is Luke Coulson. Over the wall, and palmed wide by Billy Terrell. It's a good effort from Coulson. <laughs> Emil Hempstead are leading at Western Supermare. Worthing lead Weymouth by a goal to nil, and one back for Yeovil against ha Haven and Waterloo. The Welling leading at Tunbridge by a goal to nil as this kick comes in. It's flicked on. Another slice, which takes it the way of Harvey Bradbury. Drops onto the edge of the area for Colson. He'll find Miller Rodney on the right-hand side. Let's it run and looks to turn. Plays back to Colson. He's got knee cash with him. He's going to have to deliver on his left. Looks to play a ball in for Paul Rooney, which almost came off, but didn't quite. And they'll allow Dover away to counter. And Baptiste got a run on the back three here for Dartford. Baptiste coming forward, slips it down the right-hand side for Nikash. Best chance of the game this for Dover as Nikash comes on his left, bends it over the crossbar and behind for a goal kick. They'd love a second before half-time, Dartford. As Tommy Block launches it in. Flicked on by Lewis Manor. Comes for Joash Nemhard off the post. Golden gets it to feet. Paul Rooney sends it goalwards before Dover can scrap clear. Dover clinging on. And they can count themselves fairly fortunate to only be a goal behind. One man wall as Colson raises his left arm and delivers on his right boot. Decent ball in. Paul Rooney's up for the header and he glanced it just over the bar. Ogerman coming forward on the left hand side. Plays it into Nikaj. He flicks it on towards Baptiste. But Statham will be there first and he'll go back to his goalkeeper. And Beanie will send it long. Again, Manor the target, but it won't find him. And it'll be nodded down for James Dunn, who can play Dover forward. Baptiste. Wasn't alive to that from Statham. That was good from the fullback. Gives it to Rooney. Back to Statham. Flicks it on to Bradbury. He flicks it into the path of Lewis Manor. Gets a run on it here. Lewis Manor can lay it sideways. Luke Coulson's in for Dartford. Slots it through the legs of the keeper. And it's a brilliant save. Luke Coulson goes down. Dartford won a penalty not given. I don't know how it's not 2-0. Nemhard lets it run. Did well, Joash Nemhard. And it goes through to Mitch Beanie. 
who plays it out to James Golding. Now Maxwell Statham driving forward down the right-hand side. Miller Rodney wants it in the channel. Statham thought about finding him. Now he will try and find him. Clips it over for Terrell Miller Rodney to run onto. Needs support here, Terrell Miller Rodney. Looks to knock it past his man and run onto the ball. He's done brilliantly. Miller Rodney can stand it up towards Harvey Bradbury. Deflection on it from a Dover player, which takes it into the side. Netting him behind for a corner kick. Dolphin are getting oh so close to this second goal now. How many more of these can Dover give away before Dolphin make the most of another one? And it comes from Colson. Towards Lewis Manor! Well, there's your answer. They can't give any more away. And Lewis Manor strikes his first goal in a Dartford shirt. Well, it was a matter of time. Dover were hanging on. And if you keep giving set pieces to Luke Colson, you're going to find yourself conceding goals. Lewis Manor heads in. Dartford 2, Dover 0. Long kick. Neymar heads it away. Defay Allen into James Dunn. On your Nuga, poor ball. Barris Alton top. Looks to have been fouled. Referee tells him to get up. Baptiste. Now Naylor down the left hand side. Oh, man. Can he deliver on his left foot? Sutherland, great touch. Shoots. Fires it well wide. It was a really nice spin to create the angle there for Zidane Sutherland, but the shot didn't match the turn. Darfur will resume play from the throw-in on this near side. It certainly lived up to its Derby Day name, this one. Alton top, spots Luke Allen free in the penalty area from the throw-in. Here is Luke Allen. Nice bit of footwork to find Barris Alton top again. Now Luke Colson. Luke Allen will get it back in the area. This is a big chance for Darfur as Allen comes in, looks to shoot, surely handball, penalty Darfur. Colson, who scored his penalty in the shootout against St Albans in the playoff game, is going to step up here to wrap up victory here against Dover Athletic with 15 to play. Colson right-footed. Luke Colson. Oh, he's a terrible penalty from Colson. Wide, high, shocking penalty from the Darfur captain. Finds James Dunn eventually. Harvey Bradbury and Michael Oller are still going at it back there off the ball as Baptiste picks it up on the edge of the area. The to find a way through. Five minutes, additional time. Five Five minutes, minutes to be added here at Prince's time. Park. Max Statham scuffs the clearance. Naylor picks it up, edge of the area, he's going to go for goal. And finally, it's taken 90 minutes and 20 seconds. Mitchell Beanie makes a save. No intent on getting the ball into the area despite the clock ticking down as Dunn sweeps it over to the left-hand side for Naylor. Well, a consolation is all Dover really are going to be able to muster if they get one now as Miller Rodney wins it back and Statham half clears. It's a poor clearance which drops for Dembele. Baptiste shapes it onto his right foot, gets away from Winter. Still no attempts on goal from Dover. You think just to have a shot, a ball into the area, something. Now the shot might come in. Southern goes for goal. Beanie palms it away. Best save he's made this afternoon. And it still wasn't a particularly tough one for the goalkeeper as Miller Rodney brings Dartford away on the counter. Foot comes in. The Dan Sutherland tracking back, puts it straight out for a throw in, and that may well be that. Oyanuga clips it down the line for Dover. We continue to play here. We've played five minutes. Stewart puts the ball into the area, headed away by Nemhard. And there is full time. Here at Prince's Park, Dartford 2, Dover 0. It's the easiest three points that we'll get this season. Dover Athletic, absolutely embarrassing. The second half was as bad a team I've seen here at Prince's Park. They resorted to kicking people, stamping on people. It was a disgraceful performance. And Dartford, well, they won't get an easier win this season. Dover Athletic go down here, 2-0 at Prince's Park.